Got a good adventure for you today. We're out in Frederick, Maryland. We're starting to have some breakfast at the Mountain View Diner, which is supposed to be pretty cool. Then we're gonna go into their little downtown. Today is um, the first Saturday of the month where they have a, a kind of like a street fair thing. I'm not completely sure, so we'll check it out. We we'll hit a couple breweries, and then later tonight we're gonna hit uh, Irish pub. So let's get started. The candy box strategy. Yeah. That's funny, they got Steelers. Not too far from Pittsburgh, I guess. And it's kind of like a great omelet with some grits. Place. So they got a little bar here, and then they got names of a bunch of like famous old artists. Food was really good. I enjoyed it. So we've arrived downtown in Frederick, Maryland. Uh, this place was founded in 1745, so it's really old. And on the first Saturday of every month, basically every shop and restaurant just kind of does a special and opens up. So let's walk around and check it out. Yeah, I was gonna say, what is that? I think This looks so real. But it's, uh, <laughs> it's just painted. Pretty good. Pretty impressive. So some kind of cultural festival here. Oh, oh yeah, they, yeah, it's deep, and they planted. They're telling us how they planted the uh, lily pads, you know. So you can see it's like these little bases and then they grow and obviously it's going to spread across the whole thing but they start full wow already spreading out here pretty cool i definitely want to see it later in the summer yeah and here's the bridge this is pretty it's like the one every time they took a picture of frederick that's the bridge oh really yeah so we're on market street now which is the kind of the main thoroughfare i guess main street if you will a lot of shops restaurants. It's quite busy for this first Saturday of the month type event. So the town is known for pottery. It's very popular. I don't know if it's known for it or if it's just like a popular thing, but we've got a lot of shops like this. Guys, jamming. Old Jeep, <laughs> manual transmission Jeep. Got the clutch, tire cover, pretty funny. No trip would be complete without the toy store. Couldn't make it through without getting a uh, jelly cat or something. <laughs> These little dogs. John, you need to get this little dump on. Cute. There it goes. Nice. Making some s'mores for the fire department. Oh, this is. The Yingling car delivering beer to us. Got a ticket. Oh boy. Hopefully we'll get some free beer. So the one of the shops we found these uh, dog cards, and they have 52 different dogs for, for the different cards, and not one of them is a Boston Terrier. We got to return it. What a joke. So to give you an idea of how old this place is, look at this. Look at the metal gate. How much the tree is overgrown. Wow. Look at the bricks. Oh wow, it ate the bricks too. Damn. Well, 1745 till now. This tree's probably been here at least most of that time. Beautiful street. Look at these buildings. Pretty gorgeous. So I didn't get a chance to film inside the store, but I gotta point it out. It's called Love Pup. And this guy, it's like an old hippie guy, and he makes like tie-dyed shirts of dogs and stuff. They're pretty cool. I just, he gave me his card. We didn't buy anything, but they're actually really, really well done, and he hand makes everything. 
we just found this vintage store that's uh, definitely one of the coolest ones so far. It's got a lot of like 60s and 70s stuff. It reminds me so much of my grandma's place, so let's look at it. I love this old furniture, like this old style. really cool reminds me of grandma's house look at this so cool maybe we'll do our house this way all right we've started a new like tradition or habit i guess you could say we go to all these rock shops as we're traveling and get a new rock each time. Let's get this one. Let's get this. <laughs> Jesus. 960 bucks, but look at this thing. Insane. All right, the $960 ones are cool, but we're gonna get something from here, right? Mm -hmm. I don't have one like this. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Here's another one of those paintings that looks like a real, uh, real window with a bird coming out of it. So well done. No matter where I go, I always try to find a coaster. They have a bunch of Maryland coasters here. Let me show you. So see, they have all these Maryland ones, but none of them say, this doesn't even have Frederick on it. And then of course we can have like the Maryland flag, kind of cool. And then there's, this one is really nice too, but it's not home. So a bunch of different options, but they have one that says Frederick and it says drink beer from here, Frederick. So. <laughs> Actually not my favorite one, but we did drink beer here, and I'll probably drink more beer here. So, we're going with it. So as I pointed out a few of the others, there's these paintings on the wall that look so real. And someone told me this is one of the two most famous ones. This guy sitting out the window. I mean, it looks, I don't know if it shows on the video or not, but it looks incredibly real. So bizarre. And this one next to it, you'd almost miss that it's fake too, because uh, you're just distracted by this guy, but this bird and everything is just a painting. So, super well done. Here's the details, I found it right next to it, so you check that out. Wow, some of these are so good. There we go. All right, let's do some hiking, camping, backpacking. Let's see what we got. These stores are always fun, but everything's always so expensive. So I continue to be impressed by these. Here's another one. I think this is the other one that's supposed to be really famous. Someone said it was a boy with wings. I guess that's a boy with wings in a way. Either way, if it isn't, it's still really cool. Another one of the very famous murals here. Pretty cool. We're actually right back at the, uh, the canal. So you can see, we're gonna check out and get some ice cream down here somewhere. It's really pretty. All right, time for some ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he, this will this will make me just, sick. He definitely just comes play uh, mason jar. Jar. We got in, where was it, in Nashville we got one like that? It was like a mason jar that was so huge yeah. with like stuff shooting out of it. I said you have a milk. Alright, let's see our haul here. So first thing we got was our rocks. What was yours called? Uh, Rodonite. and this is Jade. Let's see what else we got from the camping store. Got this travel pack. Quite neat, quite neat. What else? We got our cards. Cat lover, and then of course the dog lover that doesn't have our dog in it. Quite disappointing. <laughs> we got my beer coaster, which is wrapped up, so we'll take that out. And then last, we got this little sticker. Not a bad haul. Kara's favorite is probably, definitely, her new pack. This summer, when Ryan's at work, I will like go get an iced coffee and then <laughs> I don't know what brand this is, but they pop yeah. up and it's just straight green. It looks like here they're all full, 
and the water's flowing this way. So I wonder if they start them here and it like slowly like grows down, you know, and they like go down the way. All right, well, our walkabout around the town during the day has come to an end. We're about to check out Baker's Park and uh, do a few other sites around the city. And then later today we'll be back because we're going to do stuff like this. Look at that. It's one of those places where you get a card and they have like a hundred beer tabs and you can just pick whatever you want. So we'll be back for that. And all the bougie houses are right next to the park. Yeah, that's nice. And like ducks walk this area and then they come to the bougie houses to make their nests. Yeah, and so you'll just see ducks walking through people's yards. Oh, that house is cool. Yeah. It's got like a double decker porch. It's cool. It's very mossy right now. It's not. Yeah, it's still a little early in the season. They might clean it up. Yeah, this will be nice to walk around. Yeah, but uh, we'll actually be heading the main part up ahead after this. Another structure of bougie houses. You guys can observe. Very nice. Oh, these are bougie houses. Yeah, Damn, that's look what I'm at saying. that one. Yeah, these are a little too bougie. Wow, look at that one, John. <laughs> look how cool that little bed. Well, look at this one in the corner. Look. Oh, wow. We love that stuff. We're going to try and get one of these spots along the Here, stuff. you guys should get this house right here moving. Yeah, <laughs> this is wow. your style. I can see you guys there. We'll come visit you every weekend. Oh, yeah. 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 I love that. We've arrived here in Baker Park amongst the uh, millions of prom goers. It's prom weekend here in Frederick, so there are people just taking pictures and dresses and stuff everywhere. It's pretty funny. So let's take a tour. We want to show us this amphitheater here, which is really nice. There's like big grass areas. I want to go over to that tower, whatever it is, and figure out what, what it's for. Looks really nice. But yeah, you can see here, look at all the, the prom people. Yeah, so look at this. We got this nice pond, the garden path. Really, really pretty. And we're extremely close to the city too. All right, well, there's a little waterfall here. And then there's, for every video, we gotta get at least one. There's two gooses. And I realize they're called geese, but we call them gooses. John, I'm the goose that's standing here. Yeah, that's fair. All right, here's that tower. So apparently it's like a clock tower and just like a church bells or something, but it rings every hour. It's kind of a central piece to the town. Really, really pretty. Got some nice picnic areas here, playground. Oh yeah. Look at these geese here. You can get a lot closer to the water like this, although I feel like- Yeah, you can go on the grass. From our last couple of videos, it's gotten so much greener so quickly. There's some ducks. There they are. Hi, geese. They both come up the loop. Oh, they look, they're looking at us. They want some food. We don't have any. Don't feed geese bread. You'll kill them. Feed them corn or something like that, but you're not supposed to feed them bread. Remember the corn in my pot for so Yeah. Beautiful park, many things to do. I uh, highly recommend it. Frederick is, is turned out to be a really great place. So we're gonna take a break, take a shower, and we're gonna go out to dinner and get some drinks. Just got out of our Uber, we're downtown now. We're trying out Brewer's Alley, it's our first stop. So it was like a whirlwind getting out of the Uber. There was a huge crowd, so we got rushed right out. We got seated, so I think it's been like one minute since we got out. And they have a special today, lobster roll. I'm gonna get that lobster roll for sure. All right, victim number one of tonight. 
Just victim one. Just victim one. Good. Very good. This does taste like ginger. Pickle chips. Can't beat it. We just left the uh, Brewer's Alley and uh, the lobster roll was good, but man, it took so long. It was a shit show in there. I mean, we went inside, it was light out. Look at this. It's like nighttime now. It took like two hours. We like said food was okay, but man, too, too, too long. Turned around. We're having a great time now. We are at uh, this. Uh, what is it called? Bushwhackers? No. Bush <laughs> I keep calling it Bushwhackers. Bushwallers. Bushwallers. Oh, here we go. Let me see this. Let me see this. Bush Frederick Wallers. tradition. Frederick tradition. I call it Bushwhackers, but uh, we're at Bushwallers. It's been great. We scored the corner seat, and in about five minutes, ten minutes, there's a live band that's about to start. So we'll get some shots of them. Bushwhackers tradition since 1981. Awesome time. Best place of uh, Frederick for sure. So finished up with a good time. We're gonna go to a uh, wildlife preserve tomorrow, but for tonight, I think we're done.